Congress is uh, is probably, it, it, I, I would argue, it's maybe the best hair event anywhere in the world. It's really a celebration to the craft. It's not really about the product, it's about the craft. And the, the product takes a uh, back seat position to support and celebrate the artistry of hairdressing and, uh, and the beauty, fashion, and, and really brings it to life on the stage. for 37 years I've been a hairdresser involved in and I, I was um, uh, what they call a session hairdresser which specializes in uh, photo shoots and doing more of uh, editorial advertising and commercials and you know, all that stuff so I traveled all over and I got known for actually making sculpture out of everything from fabric to paper and so photographers would always call me in and say could you do this with clay so I did a lot of yeah, I started working with any materials and I got my reputation became that. So uh, I've always been interested in sculpting. We have a huge workshop, a massive workshop area where everyone was working and they have materials and we're shells and shells. We just collect stuff. And so when we go to work on something like this, all the stuff comes out and then you know, basically people throw it on the table and they start making shapes and things out of it. And as I watched the team work, I could see that there was nothing, nothing in the room that was going to work because it was just going to be that organic you know, raw uh, architecture, which was not where my eye, my head, and my heart were. I was really looking for something very refined, something extremely, extremely refined and beautiful. And, uh, um, and I wasn't looking for something like hard and geometric in that sense. I was looking for something that still had the, uh, the romance of roundness to it, but, but refined and elegant. And, uh, um, and I was watching them try to, you know, spray painting branches and sanding them and spray painting them to try to get that. And we went and bought Chinese uh, chopsticks, like red lacquered Chinese chopsticks, and we were trying to figure it out, but we were far, far away from really, uh, and it would never work. It would never. It, would, it was just not there. Hair is interesting, but this is far more interesting to me. So uh, this being probably the last uh, time that I actually go up on stage and present some work, uh, I wanted it to be very special. And it was an anti-hair statement. It was not a hair statement. At a hair, at a hair conference, I wanted it to be something uh, about art and, and uh, something precious and, uh, and, and very unique. And obviously, all the, the universe aligned and, and brought uh, Stephen and Sherman into my world. And, uh, and you know, I drew it on a back of honestly, and it's the old story. I drew it on a plane. I drew the little shapes on the back of an Air Canada uh, napkin, and that ended up in his hands. And, you know, and that's how it happened. The process took about a you know, week and a half, two weeks. So, uh, yeah, it was meant, it was absolutely meant to be. And uh, I'm very grateful. Thank you for you guys for making it happen for us. All of you, thank you. Uh, 3D printing it gave us an opportunity to look at, at, at a whole different way of approaching the design. And, and of course, the outcome is really that which I was looking for. Refined, beautiful, elegant. Uh, very detailed, I and mean, I can't imagine how we would get that kind of detail. Trying to do it by hand, it just couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't exist. Well, did it turn out the way you were hoping? Spectacular. It was really, uh, uh, it, was, it was fun to do, it was fun to be up there. Um, we did get a standing ovation, we started the day, we got a standing ovation, you can't ask for anything more.